Hello everybody! Hope you're all safe and well. Today I am at Universal's Aventura Hotel and we're going to give you guys a resort review. If you're new to the channel, great to have you with us and if you have seen me before, welcome back. Thanks for the support, really, really appreciate it. Let's go in and explore. We are about to make our way in through the front door. We are firstly greeted with the lobby area. On the right you have the very stylish Bar Ventura. It's not open at the moment, it's early in the day, but later on you can enjoy drinks and cocktails here. To the left you have the Universal Studio Store where you can pick up any souvenirs or gifts that you didn't get whilst in the parks. And straight ahead we have the Urban Pantry, which is the food court here. all your kind of coffee needs, you've got Starbucks, at the moment it's quite a quiet queue. And here towards the back we have the food court and bar. Currently serving breakfast. Here at the Aventura you can take advantage of free life vests, for kids and adults. You also get free towels at the pool. Just come and help yourself. The pool's quite quiet at the moment, but there's plenty of loungers and the pool looks lovely. The hot tub is currently closed for maintenance, however it does look tremendous, it um, looks very relaxing when it's open, I'm sure it's an enjoyable experience. So a lovely big pool here at Ventura, um, it's right next to a kind of busy road which isn't ideal and also there's speakers all over the place blaring out music. So not terribly relaxing if you just want a kind of quiet time here in the sunshine. I'm not quite sure why they do this. It's only early morning as well. It's quarter to 11, so um, granted maybe later on in the day when things are getting a bit lively and things, but at the moment, me personally, maybe I'm boring, I don't know, but I'd probably prefer a quiet, gentle mood, just kind of relax, relaxing by the pool as opposed to listening to banging music. So um, yeah, just a personal preference, but worth noting. The hotel's lovely, really kind of sleek and stylish. Uh, the Ventura is part of what's known as the Prime Value range, so it's the second tier of hotels. So still classed as a, a value hotel, just with a wee bit of added quality. And certainly inside, the surroundings really are quite sleek and stylish, how it's all sort of set up. Uh, so yeah, lovely job inside the lobby area, definitely. As with all the Universal hotels on property, you have a variety of perks. Um, you qualify for what's known as early park admission, which essentially allows you into the parks one hour before regular guests. Um, that rotates between the two theme parks. Um, you also get early entry into Volcano Bay. You get half an hour, you get 30 minutes at Volcano Bay. And talking of Volcano Bay, it's right on the doorstep here. It's only a few steps away, so just a short walk. To get to the theme parks, you have the option of walking. It's a 10, 15 minute walk along the path, or you can get the free shuttle buses, which run every 10 or 15 minutes. So the choice is up to you. The free transportation to the parks or a gentle walk. 
Here at Aventura, you've got an outside games area for the kids. You've got some hockey and foosball, some air hockey, and a Connect Four. A little bit of light entertainment for the kids, whilst having a rest day possibly. Always good as a little option to keep the kids amused whilst not in the theme park. And of course the adults can join in too. You will find the fitness centre on level 2. Fitness centre has a variety of cardio and weight machines with a beautiful view out the window. Rooms here at the Aventura start at $200 a night for a standard room or $300 a night for a suite. I'm not staying at the hotel sadly so I can't show you around the rooms however I'll put in a few photos here for you. The quality of the hotel is really good so I fully expect the room quality to be good as well. I'm currently here uh, using an amenity key. If you're staying at any of the Universal hotels you can go to the different hotels and ask for an amenity key which basically allows you in all access areas with the exception of the, the, the rooms obviously. You can use the pool, the bars, uh, the restaurants and things with an amenity key and you have that uh, access through staying at any Universal Hotel. You just go up to the reception and ask for and just explain you're staying at whatever hotel and they'll give you an amenity key and no problems. In terms of dining here at Aventura, you have the Urban Pantry, it's the quick service area, you will find Starbucks and a selection of uh, quick service foods such as sushi, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, fries, you've also got the Coca-Cola refill machine options and teas and coffees. And then if you want something a bit more fine dining, you can go to the rooftop and visit par the Bar 17 Bistro. It's on the 17th floor, hence the name, and that will give you a bit more, a bit more fine dining. It's a lovely restaurant up on the rooftop with a beautiful views. So, guys, that concludes our quick resort review of the Aventura Hotel. And um, without question, it's a very nice, attractive, sleek hotel, uh, ideally located here on property at Universal for visiting the parks. However, that being said. I've got to be honest, I was a little underwhelmed, um, just not too much going on inside. Um, it's classed as a prime value hotel, which is second tier here at Universal, as I mentioned. Prime value is the same tier and therefore price point as Cabana Bay Beach Resort, which I've reviewed previously. Um, link might be in the comments if you want to look there. But that is an amazing hotel, um, completely, completely different to the Aventura Hotel, loads going on, great vibe, um, lots more space, um, there's two massive pools compared to just a kind of average size pool here, um, there's slides for the kids, there's a bowling alley, yeah I feel like I'm starting to review <laughs> Cabana Bay again but look I can only say it as I see it really, uh, Aventura Hotel, lovely hotel, sleek, stylish, attractive but just didn't feel like there was much going on, much vibe about it, um, felt pretty standard, not a great amount there, pool's pretty average, um, good quality, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about the quality but yeah on this price point I would certainly recommend Cabana Bay, so for me Aventura Hotels getting a 3 out of 5, um, sorry, maybe look horses for courses, everyone likes different things but yeah that's for me, look I hope that quick resort review has been some way useful to you if it has give me a wee thumbs up and if you haven't please hit subscribe and hopefully i shall see you next time thanks guys bye now